Hey, all you dusty carpenters. We're going to build us a... a corner of cabinet today. First thing you want is you want two pieces the same size. The next thing you want to do is you want to cut one down minus the thickness of one board. So in order, in other words, if you're if you uh, if you've got a 11 and three quarters of an inch wide board, and that's going to be your final, then you need to cut one down to 11 inches because what will happen is. When you put one on top of the other one, you're going to gain it three quarters of an inch. So that's why you want to have one cut down to the size you want. All right, we've got these cut down to the right size. Now what we've got to do is we've got to come in and we've got to bevel. In other words, put a 45 degree cut on this so that it's a 45 degree, so it's against the wall, it'll be flat. Okay, you can see we've got this 45 degree angle and then we've got the last there. This is going to be the back of our cabinet. Because remember, being a corner cabinet, we've only got two sides. We've got the left side and the right side, and these are going to go against the wall. Now we're going to cut the shelves. And that's usually the hardest part of these cabinets to cut. Okay, on the smallest piece, width-wise, this is where you'll get the size of the shelves. The big one is 10 inches, or excuse me, the big one is 11 inches, the small one is 10 inches. That's a little more than 10. But we need to get an exact measurement. And we're coming out, we're coming from this, the sh what we call the short point, to the back. So we need this size, because this is going to be the shelf size right here. All right, so we come from the back to the front, and we have exactly 10 and 15 sixteenths. Now if we get the other one, we should be exactly three quarters of an inch left, less, in which this is 10 and 3 sixteenths. So if it was, to make it easy, if this was 10 and a quarter and this was 11, we'd be exactly 3 quarters of an inch difference. We downsize it a sixteenth. Make it easy on yourself. Anyway, what we're going to do now, we're going to cut a square piece. It's going to be 10, we're going to cut it like 10 and 3 eighths. Or excuse me, excuse me, ten and a quarter. We're gonna cut it ten and a quarter. We're gonna cut a square shelf. This is the easiest way to get your shelving. Okay, we're gonna figure on having two middle shelves, an upper and a lower. Okay, so you want your shelf size when you cut it square. You want it an eighth of an inch bigger. So for ten and three sixteenths, we need to cut it ten and five sixteenths is perfect. And furniture building is perfect. Carpentry, you got to allow yourself a little bit of room or it'll drive you crazy. Ten and five sixteenths, and then I would suggest to anybody 
that is not real comfortable cross cutting with a table saw is to use a 12 inch slide compound miter saw, 10 inch compound slide miter saw. You really need one in your shop regardless of what else you do, especially if you're doing cabinets. You really need something to do cross cutting. What you're going to do is you're going to make you a you're going to make you a a pattern to where you can screw a couple of cleats and you'll put one screw in here to hold this down flat and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second so that you can cut your shelving. Okay, you can see what I've done here. We got us a, a slide made up to where we slide this in here like that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put one screw back here in the back. Usually back in the back of your cabinet, you could fill that and nobody will ever see it being this is paint grade. Now if this was going to be stain grade, then we would go through the trouble of screwing something across the top on each one of them, each one that we're cutting. Now your slide compound miter saw will do pretty good. But this makes them accurate, each shelf exactly the same. So, and then as you can